Hello, brothers. Hi. I work as a forklift. Hi. Uh, it's oh, Trav. They can't. Oh, it's just a one way sort of. Oh. Hello, brothers. I work as a forklift driver in a small warehouse for a local company that sells books on the internet. Good Our- read. <laughs> wink. Wink. <laughs> Our company is big on safety and urges any employee who observes unsafe behavior to report it immediately. A few days ago, I observed one of my managers, who also happens to be our company's safety officer, hauling ass through the warehouse on a forklift and whipping around blind corners like there was no tomorrow. Was this some sort of test to see if I would report him or did I do the right thing and not being a narc? That's from the forklift and the furious in Utah. Was, I mean, did he crash? Did he crash or hit somebody? Doesn't sound like I it. I mean, presumably that would have been included that would have been in the question, but you know how our listeners are. Yeah, I, I would been. have to think that if, like, and the manager <laughs> killed three people, that would probably be a right. salient detail. And he's dead today, and so am I. <laughs> I just think that it, if he didn't crash or run into somebody, he sure did drive pretty safely, I think, and you have nothing to complain about. You know what I mean? Right. The NASCAR, the NASCAR guys... They drive freaking fast, and they spin around one big track, and they uh, bump into each other, and it's cool, and that's the only race that matters anymore, because in horses, if you bump, it's uh, ruined, um, but they are safe about it. You know what I mean? I feel like maybe he was trying to get really hands-on, to say, like, in the future, I want to be able to tell people that this is unsafe. Right. With a straight face. I need to know for myself that this is insane. Oh, do you think... So I'm going to do it and see if I get hurt. I think the manager then, like, finished whatever obstacle course he had set up and was like, oh, wait, I didn't kill anybody. Maybe this is safe. It's This is safe. I shouldn't... This is safe. It's fine. I did it once. It's fine. I've been lying to people this whole time, telling them it wasn't safe, but look at me. I'm fine. I... Hey, guys, come over here and tear ass <laughs> in these be- beautiful babies. I'm so sorry. Hey, if I get everybody in the break room, I need you all to go out there and tear some fucking ass in the fork lips, because I was wrong this whole time. I don't put think some- that's the hey, verbiage. <laughs> the question hey, is, screw you, Jay, man. Hey, hey, Junge, is your... Didn't you say your nephew's good at painting flames? Have him come in here and put some fucking flames on these sons of bitches, and let's let's tear some ass. And and then stop bragging about your son and his skills in the we workplace. Get it. We or get it. or you know what? Put up or show up, Junge. It's time. It's time for your son, wreck it, to come in here and paint some flames. And then and then we'll all race. I just think if you don't get hurt or dead then the thing you did was safe. I have never broken a bone in my body or been killed, and so everything I've ever done in my life, including lying to a robber at gunpoint about GameStop's PlayStation 3 inventory, was really safe. Yep. I think it's perfectly safe. I think you you always did the right thing in not narking, I would say. Nobody likes a narc, right? Well. I bet mm. police do. Police probably like narcs. Probably judges do. Look, I would say probably anybody in the LAPD extended universe likes narcs. CIs, they call them. CIs. I know a little bit of the lingo going in. So it's just, I watch Courthouse and Tommy. <laughs> so and All Rise and Nancy. So I, I know a lot of All the lingo Rise kind of sounds early. like the name of a show about a boy band that's also judges during the day. That's a good see, that's see, a that's better a good idea show. for a show. That's a good name for a, a boy band, though, too. Yeah, I'll rise for these cute guys. That's what it would say on the poster. A judge-themed. <laughs> a judge-themed boy band. <laughs> judge-themed boy band with the wigs and whatnot. That's yeah, okay, well, they yeah. would all be in oh, barrister's wigs Only and just one tiny of them, shorts. though, right? Like, we got to set them apart. So there's the barrister wig one. Uh-huh. There's the there's Judge Lance Ito is just in it. <laughs> he is yeah. one of them. There's, there's, I mean, there's Judge Reinhold is like mm-hmm. their manager. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. he's the manager and he's always trying to get into the group. And they're like, no, Judge, you're not a real judge. We all went to law school for many, many years. We and are. Judge judges. Nelson's there and he's like, I'm never changing my name ever. I love you boys. I'm never changing this name. I'm never adding the G, no matter how many times you ask. <laughs> Come on, but we could be brothers. No, Judge, that's not how it works. What if they have a song called I'm Gonna Supremely Court You? Or what Shit. about I Wanna Hold You, parentheses, in contempt, in parentheses? That's good. Thank you. I like a, I like a sexy title where the parentheticals make it less sexy. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yes, good. Yes, I yes. love that. Objection, get, na- get naked. This is a very <laughs> sexually <laughs> aggressive boy band. That's typically not their style. <laughs> it's a, the, their third album once they're all in their 40s and trying to get the magic back. I object to you not liking me. <laughs> Oh, no. That's a cool song. (laughs) 
Uh, I have a Yahoo here. <laughs> what? It's illegal for you to not marry me today. Yeah. Wait, what? Whoa. That's, you're just saying, I mean. That's romantic. Uh, my, not uh, Mike sent this 